Bicycle gears are brilliant, although they can seem a little bit confusing at times, especially if you're new to the sport. But don't worry, in this video we're going to show you everything you need to know about the gears and how to use them so you can get the most out of your riding. Bicycle gears allow you to maintain a comfortable pedalling speed to the terrain or gradient of road you're on. The very first bicycle only had one gear, so no matter how steep the road, you just had to keep pedalling, even if it became very difficult. Gears on modern day bicycles have a lot more options, meaning you can pedal uphill and downhill comfortably. Well, pedalling uphill is never really that comfortable. But what is a comfortable pedalling speed? Cadence is the term used in cycling to measure the speed which you are pedalling at. It's measured in RPM, revolutions per minute. So basically how many times you turn the pedals in just one minute. It's recommended that you pedal at a cadence of around 70 to 100 RPM. But you want to pedal at a cadence that's comfortable for you. I'm pedalling at 85 RPM right now and this is pretty comfortable for me. Everyone pedals at a different speed, so there isn't a right or wrong answer. Some people prefer a higher cadence and some people prefer a lower cadence. You want to use your gears to help maintain your cadence, despite the speed or terrain you're riding. So, for example, if you're riding uphill, you want to select an easier gear so your cadence doesn't drop too much. Gears will either be electronic or manual, and they're pretty easy to use once you've figured them out. You have buttons or levers here. One side will change the big chain ring and the little chain ring, and the other side will change the cassette at the back. I've got electronic gearing on mine, so I just click these buttons and it will change the gears for me. Bikes come in a variety of different components and gearing, so my bike might have a different gear ratio to yours. But essentially, to explain the gears really easily, the big ring is where you want to be when you're travelling at high speed on flat, fast roads. And then if you start going up a hill and it gets a little bit steep, you want to drop into your little ring there and that will make it a lot easier. And for the cassette at the back, you've got quite a few different gears to choose from. So the biggest cog, that's going to be your easiest gear. So the one closest to the spokes, that's the easiest. And then they gradually get harder and harder as you move down to the smallest one. Change gears whenever you think it's necessary or when your cadence changes from what you're comfortable with. But try and avoid changing gears a million times up one short climb. Sometimes it's best to stay in the same gear and push a little bit harder up the climb or get out the saddle. If you see a steep climb coming up, think about what gear you want to be in for the climb. You want to avoid changing gears up the climb because this can cause them to jump. When you come to a stop, say at traffic lights for instance, make sure you're in the right gear to pull off. You don't want to be stuck in a massive gear trying to get it going from the traffic lights because that's going to be hard work. If your gears aren't working properly, they're rubbing, they're jumping, or you get this annoying friction noise, you can fix this yourself, but a bike shop will be able to fix it pretty quickly. If your chain isn't sitting in the right place for the gears, then it won't run smoothly. The derailleur that you can see here will guide your chain into the right place. It could be as simple as adjusting your derailleur so the gears run smoothly. A worn out chain or cassette could be the cause of your gears not running smoothly. It even could be your gear cables. We have lots of mechanical explainers on our channel, so make sure you check them out if you need some help. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it's helped you understand a little bit more about the gears. If you have any funny gear selection stories, please leave them in the comment section below. My, my funny story was I was out on a training camp in Italy and I was in the mountains and my gear cable snapped and I was stuck in my hardest gear for the rest of the ride. Good job I had some friends there to push me home or else I'd probably still be out there.